So when you, like you said, your uncle, you walked real quick. You know, he knew where he was going. <coughs> but not, not your friend. Mm-hmm. You had said, and I remember we talked about this on the phone, that he kind of went to this, like, in-between place. Like the, like a gray, dark, gray, just dark, gross. Terrible. And I, you know, like when we talked about it before, I don't know if he ever... Made it. I had to. I had to abandon that, sure. that path. You know, I. I. I couldn't stay there. It, it was months um, of just feeling, and I had to, you know, go through my life and do my job and things like that and try to function in life. But I. I felt like, um, on some level, I was constantly just walking in this very dark space. So, if you don't mind, mm-hmm. because this is really interesting, and you're the only one I've ever heard talk about it, which is awesome. Walk me through like the process. Could if you if you get like yeah. this from <clears throat> when you fall asleep, when you, what when your son falls asleep, then you fall asleep, <laughs> then go fall asleep ish. Fall asleep ish. Yeah, um, half in and half out. So, f- are we talking about the the death walking? Yeah, the death walking. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Okay. I, sorry so about that. right. So um, how do I? Ex- so it's not like it's not like the experience I shared where. Um, you know, it was like the, the past life thing where I, right. I, I could see everything and was very aware of everything that was going on. Um, it's much more of a feeling. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't see myself. I couldn't see him, but I knew I was with him and I knew that we were walking and I felt light and warmth around me. I didn't, I couldn't see where we were going. It's not like, you know, that we were on a road and there's some final destination that we're, that we're getting to. It's just... It's almost like floating in space, but but we're walking, and wow. only he knew when when we got to where we needed to go. I don't know, you know, I don't know why I'm I'm the one that that was there, um, I, but I other than that, I I can do it for whatever reason. Um, and he needed somebody next to him on his way. So it's not like you're leading them. Nope, just walking, you're walking just, beside. You're just a buddy. Yep. Huh. Yep. Just, just to be, just to be company. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, it's um, and and it's really weird to say, you know, I know that we're walking when I, you know, I have no body in that space that yeah. I'm aware of that's walking. Um, right. It's like when you're in a dream and you like know something. Right? Like you're like. I'm walking I'm, into this room. Yeah, now, I know. You know? Yeah. yeah, it's not. It's not like that at all. No. It's just. It's all. It's all a feeling experience. Wow. Jeez, that's so cool. Um, you also referenced that it. It kind of reminded you of that movie, What Dreams May Come. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The experience with my friend Eric, where yeah. it took forever, and yeah, um, that what that what that felt like to me, and again, I couldn't see anything around us but I could feel this this just you know very um it was just despair it was this desperate sure and confused space and <clears throat> what that felt like to me was what hell looked like I think it was hell or yeah. wherever wherever the wife yeah was in that house um and what dreams may come huh Whew. that's so that's heavy yeah that's so heavy. I mean I um I want to, I want to do more with it. You know, like I said at the beginning, I I feel like being of service in in my life is what what I'm supposed to be doing and if this is something that I'm able to do, um, you know, I've thought about uh, you know, doing like an end of life doula sort of thing even. I mean, that's um end of life doula. Yeah. Like a like the lady who helps with the natural birth. But um, at the end. But at the end. Huh. Yes. That's a thing too. It is a thing too, and it's something that you know living psychopomps um, do. Yeah, and um, you know, I, I, it's something where I don't know that a lot of people can do that and could hold someone's hand at that time and sure. and and help them to be um, more at peace with what's happening. Um, but I feel like it's something that I would be comfortable doing. Wow. Um, just because, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid of death. It, to me, it's not something to fear. And, right. and having had that experience myself, that showed me that it's not something to fear. And so I may be able to help other people not be afraid of it. That's great. 
So have you thought about going into, I don't know, what, what would you do? Like, would you go into a medical profession or would you like kind of start your own? It's actually like a certification that, that <laughs> you can do. There, there, there are classes. And what do everything. they call it? Um, it is called an end of life doula. End of life doula. Yeah. Yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So, it, you know, that that's something that I might do. Um, I don't know. I, I have to do whatever I feel guided, guided to do yeah. um, in that. But... <sighs> I, I, I know that I have to use it somehow. So is it something that you, I mean, like, so both of the people that you did it with were people who are very close to you. Close enough. Well, close yeah. enough. I mean, yeah. close enough. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Right. But like, is it something that you think you could do on command or do you think that it would have to, like you're chosen for certain people? Um, I think that with training, I, I could do it for people that, you know, I'm not close to. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, potentially even, you know, I did looking at the end of life doula thing, you know, maybe I'm there with them in their physical body and maybe then I get to walk with them, you know, walk their soul after they actually pass. Right. You know, so that's so, kind of how I envision it. So the end of life doula, they're there holding their hand when they pass mm -hmm. and then like, how would that work? Like you go home and go to sleep and then at night? Yeah. 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 Huh. 